students in previous lecture we learned rational number and example number 1 which number is called with rational number if the number is denoted in as a p by q form are called rational number when p and q are integers and q is not equals to 0 rational number we learn about rational numbers now example number 2 find five rational numbers between 1 and 2 In this session, we want to find five rational numbers between one and two. Now, we want five numbers. How many numbers? Five numbers. We write one and two with denominator. Denominator, please we give we take five plus one. Five. Plus one. Denominator five plus one is equal to six. That is one in is equal to one into six upon six. Because we want to denominator as a six. Therefore, one is equal to one multiplied six by six is equal to six upon six. And two. Is equal to two multiplied six by six is equal to twelve upon six. Again, we want five rational numbers between five rational numbers between one and two. Here, how many numbers? Five. Then we take denominator five plus one. We learn one and two with denominator five plus one is equal to six. We want denominator six. In one, therefore, one is equal to one into six upon six is equal to six upon six, and two into six upon six is equal to twelve upon six. Which numbers between six and twelve? Six upon six and twelve upon six. Now start six upon six, seven upon six, eight upon six, nine upon six, ten upon six, eleven upon six, and twelve. Between these two numbers, we can write seven by six, eight by six, six upon six is as a one, and twelve upon six is as a two. Therefore, seven by six, eight by six, nine by six, ten by six, and eleven by six. Equal to simplification, this number seven by six, eight by six is equal to four in four two is a three two is a. Therefore, two two cut. Four by three, nine by six, three into three upon two by three three cut three upon two, ten by six, five into two, three two is a six, five by three and eleven by six. Simplify in prime number, prime factorization, seven by six, four by three, three by two, five by three, eleven by six. As a common factor one, these five numbers are rational numbers between one and two. Now we learn from this question there are infinite many rational numbers between two numbers. Here we want five numbers. Suppose we want seven number, then we take as denominator. Seven plus one is equal to eight. Therefore, one into eight by eight is equal to eight upon eight, and two into eight by eight is equal to sixteen by eight. Between two numbers, nine by eight, ten by eight, eleven by eight, twelve by eight, thirteen by eight, fourteen by eight, fifteen by eight. There are seven numbers between we take between one and.
by 30, 23 by 30. Here, simplify the number. Suppose we can get 19 by 30, 2 by 3, 7 3s are 10 3s are therefore 7 by 10, 11 2s are 15 by 32, 15 into 2, 11 by 15 and 23 by 30. Question number 4. True or false? Number 1. Every natural number is a whole number. True. Because 1, natural number starts from 1. 1, 2, 3, all the numbers are whole numbers. But here, whole number is not a natural number. Every natural number is a whole number, therefore the statement is true. Every integer is a whole number. Integers are 0, plus minus 1, plus minus 2. Therefore, every integer is a whole number. In whole number, w is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. It does not include negative number. Every integer, suppose minus 5 is an integer, is a whole number? No. Minus 5 is not a whole number. Therefore, this statement is wrong, false. Every rational number is a whole number. Rational number includes natural number, integers, whole number. We are rational number 5 by 7. 5 by 7 is not a whole number. Whole number is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But 5 by 7 is not a whole number. A statement is 